Hey guys, Greg Howe here, S9 Radio. Just finished up these brown and golden eagles that have now morphed into super birds, meaning they've been loaded up with all the top shelf components, specialized audio capacitors, power supply capacitors, and of course, good glass. In this case, uh, we've got a mostly gold lion audio chain with a Mullard preamp tube, an all Sylvania gold brand IF strip, uh, gold pin tubes with platinum and other precious metal innards yielding for a very sensitive yet quiet and highly selective receive. Let's see if we can't stir up some DX here on the old IMAX 2000. Hey Marilyn, you copy Wiki Whack Big Bear Mountain Southern Cal. These birds got any giddy up and go? Hello. All right, 917, how's this thing sounding? You got such a big signal. Uh, I'm sure you probably hear just the microphone cord uh, wiggling around in the air. Uh, my God, big signal. Nah, damn. Up on the mic in a little, leave it right where it is, back it down. Good looking station you got there, Mike. I just turned everything on. Everything's cold. All righty. And I'm just running the stock banana mic. Well, good deal. Yeah, you're close enough. Like I say, if there was any hum or anything, it's got all new caps. I put audio caps, uh, fancy audio caps. And, uh, like I say, he's running a a Gentle X Gold Lion audio chain, and he's got one in the uh, uh, oscillator position here, which just drives the snot out of these radios. And this is a late model uh, Mark III, like I said. It's got the ALC and some of the stuff the FCC was bugging them to uh, tone these things down a little. I normally don't see this kind of performance out of the late models, but uh, yeah, you get a good hot set of tubes in there, and I guess anything's possible. And I cherry-picked the finals and drivers for all my radios and uh, came across his. And doggone, his tubes were like somebody cherry-picked. These aren't tubes you just pull out of a sleeve. He's got a hot set of tubes in here. So he's getting his radio back with his OEM tubes. They're uh, here to be new and uh, a real hot set of tubes. <coughs> Because, uh, if I didn't know, <laughs> man, it sounds like you're running a preamplified D104. It's loud. It's clear. Let me see. It looks know. good, too. Uh, I don't know if it sounds that damn good. No, that sounds damn good. Hey, top of the day to you there, Bobby Boucher. Wiki Whack just, uh, Finished up these browning birds. The owner had me put some real fancy glass in there. Hopefully it's sounding half as good as your rig. Sounding grand on the band. Copy? Yeah, it's that sounds good down here, man. Um, yeah, it's different than your other radio, but it's got a real good sound to it, no doubt. Okay, well, I'm running a browning 776... Uh, I guess you'd consider it a stock microphone. It does have a preamp built into it, but I'm on a different uh, microphone. Same basic setup that I run in my radio, real fancy glass and whatnot. But anyways, I'll clear frequency and uh, we'll see what rolls in. Uh, uh, thanks for the get back. Wiki Whack, Big Bear Mountain, SoCal.